Yes, Leanne, a very uh, warm good morning to you once again. And rightfully, uh, you said just now that I am joined by the newly elected mayor of Nisner, Mr. Mark Willemser. Of course, a special council sitting here in the Nisner municipality uh, last night um, uh, rendered him the new mayor. Uh, Mr. Willemser, very warm good morning to you. And I think we, the focus today is, of course, uh, Nisner. Uh, and, and Nisner, a year after these devastating fires which left seven people dead, um, you were at the forefront as a councillor back then. Um, uh, you were very much involved involved in terms of the uh, of, of relocating people um, of, of getting those thousands of people to safety but, but before we go into into the uh, remembering Nisner, just very briefly you were not expected to be here this morning certainly not um, in the council meeting late last night there was a vote of no confidence against the previous mayor um, and which saw me um, taking over as the mayor and the previous mayor was obviously voted out so I'm standing here in very new shoes and and a situation that I did not really expect. So it's it's a year on after these uh, devastating fires a lot of work has been done but of course um, lots more need to be done just very brief, briefly can the people of Nyasna expect stability in the municipality uh, to deal with this myriad of issues going forward um, and affecting their lives in terms of rebuilding uh, Nyasna to, to, to prior uh, 7th June uh, 2017. I think stability is, is the essence here. You know, we, we need to create stability in Nisner. Um, the tragedy of 7th June last year has created a myriad of, of tragedies that has happened and we need to create the situation that people can feel confident in the municipality taking them forward and I think that is the groundwork that needs, still needs to be laid going forward. Quite a number of events then Mr. Willems are planned uh, for today to commemorate uh, the, the devastation uh, to, to, to honour those that, that died in, in these fires and of course um, speaking to me a short while ago quite um, a number of people, residents of Nyser who are still battling um, to, uh, to rebuild their lives really uh, following this devastation, uh, issues around insurance claims. Uh, we know that um, in the uh, informal settlement, a uh, white location, um, people there complaining that they, they still haven't seen any, any change. In terms of what was done, what has the municipality done and achieved over the past year? Look, the challenges were huge. You know, we've lost thousands of, 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 um, of properties in total. Um, so what the municipality has done is we've, we've managed to build our infrastructure very quickly. We managed to get our infrastructure back up and running. Water, electricity, which, which were vital for service delivery. Um, 7.5 million was spent within a few weeks to ensure that we had all of those services up and running again. Housing still remains a, a challenge. Um, people that have lost their houses that weren't insured are living with friends, relatives, renting, and have not restored their home. So dignity is a major concern, restoring dignity to people. Um, people up in white location that are living in bungalows that previously had houses, that is a challenge that we still need to overcome. We are busy. The groundwork has been laid, and hopefully shortly we will get to tackle the housing situation to return the dignity to those that have lost their houses and to ensure that they can get their lives back together again. And that is of, of vital importance to ensure the, the further growth of Nisner as a town. We will be speaking to the relevant tourism authorities as well as environmental authorities a little later on. But Nisner is uh, renowned for its tourism. Tourism is the backbone of, of the economy of Nisner. Um, the, I think next month we, we're expecting the Nisner Festival back yes. again. And of course, just one of many events planned. Um, over the past year, if one has to reflect, um, what kind of, of, of impact um, has the devastation had on, on, on tourism? Has it, has it managed to bounce back within, within the past year? I think the decision to, to keep, take Nisna and keep it as Nisna is open for business and Nisna rises, those initiatives have been driven throughout and taken by Nisna Tourism to all the, the trade market shows that they've been to to ensure that we have a continuous flow of visitors to Nisna. Now, tourism is the backbone of this town, it's the industry of this town and we need to continue to ensure that that is not stopped. And I think the initiatives that were taken, which were rightly criticised at that stage because there was devastation and tragedy around to say that Nisner is open for business was the right one to take to ensure the continuous flow of business to this town to, to ensure that those that have lost businesses can actually pick up their lives again and start over with tourism because tourism is the backbone of this town. So the initiatives that were taken then I think have, have largely kept on creating the tourism environment. We haven't cut back on any of our festivals, um, festivals that have carried on. Um, guest houses, sure, they've, they've had a battle, so, but they've helped each other. You know, we filled beds where we, where we could. Um, we didn't cancel the Oyster Festival last year just after the fires, and that continued. And I think it was a successful. So people could see that Nisner is still alive and, and thriving, and that is what we want to continue to show.
Thank you very much, um, Mark Williams, the newly elected mayor of Nysna. Just talking to us this morning uh, on the commemoration of uh, those devastating fires which occurred uh, this day uh, last year.